hey guys how are you i know i haven't posted anything in a long time so much has been going on um and not even like with etsy or orders i've just you guys know if you didn't follow me you know my daughter's quince is like literally weeks away i am hella nervous i keep breaking out with stress um and i don't know if you guys remember in the last video um i and in, in the live tmi okay my period has been i don't know like it's been weird like it comes and then it stops and then it comes again and then i don't know i am pretty sure it's because of the stress i know i don't know i feel like the whole stress is taking a toll on my body on my mental state like i don't want to sound dramatic but like it literally is like that this this past weeks i have freaking bags under my eyes from just it's just so much i am super burned if i look kind of dark to you guys and my freckles are like exploding um we did a uh, play in a kickball um tournament and it was a lot of fun but we got really sunburned you can't even tell really in camera. I'll insert a picture. I was like a tomato. I was super red. Um, but today I do have um, three orders that I want to get out. And one, we are going to be using the um, Luminaires 200. And I am going to be mixing... Uh, white toner printer with embroidery so i have this lady who she's been ordering me forever for her daughter so now she's has um a new request she wants princesses with the number three but here's the problem she wanted she sent me a picture and i was like okay so you want a print she's like no i want it embroidered i'm like i cannot embroider all these princesses um there's no way uh -uh. I'm, I, I'm, I told her I can't do I cannot I'll embroider one princess but I cannot embroider all those princesses and she likes embroidery so I told her what if I can print out the princesses but embroider out the number with the name and then you know let's see how that looks so she agreed we're gonna do that um what i am doing i am waiting for my printer to print out the princesses i'm gonna cut out in between them and then i kind of measured you can me with your program you can kind of measure like how big it's gonna print out so this one's about six and a half inches long which i measured this and if i have to do this bigger i'll do it bigger um just so that they do fit nicely next to the number and then um i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna play with it um first time doing it someone had asked me if i had done that before if i have had mixed the printing with the embroidery so this would be the first time and yeah so i'm waiting for it to print i am i did embroider out um this candy shirt and uh ice cream uh made the tutu for the candy shirt and sometimes i feel like i can't even think straight um so yeah i still don't have a tripod it's just like my brain is not even functional seriously i have so many messages that are that i didn't respond to on etsy and my star seller badge is like in the balance i have to go through the messages and mark them as spam spam the ones that i did not reply it's, i just i just it's not that i don't want to reply it's just my brain seriously like i cannot and then on top of everything like liam liam's little graduation thing is almost here um it's a little kindergarten graduation thing all right so yes i have a mess like always but um so i got the princesses i am gonna go ahead and marry both sheets together i do um preheat my it's already 
at 310 but i want both sides to be super hot and then i do put put two um sheets two teflon sheets in there and i'm gonna literally let this uh 120 run down and then once it it opens it should be super duper hot and i'm gonna marry both sheets together and then cut them out to see how I, how i am going to place them on the shirt so I do cut around the all the white, like the top, just so that when it comes to the peeling, it's not taking forever. So let me show you guys that. So for example, I will cut all this top part and all this bottom part. Okay, so just like that. I took off the bottom just, just because you have to peel kind of fast and at a cons consistent um speed so i don't want to lose seconds <laughs> peeling that uh that part right there and then it, it it does go face down and then i do um fold one of the corners so it's just like an easier peel okay guys so this is how i have it laid out i have not pressed them and the shirt but i did put them under because they are going to be pressed before embroidery just because i don't know how well the ink would adhere to the thread and the htv not the htv i'm going to use embroidery vinyl inside the three so i don't want to take a chance at the ink not wanting to adhere to the three so the three will go over overlap the ink and not the other way around i think it looks good right there if tiana wasn't there i could scoot everything a little bit more in and it wouldn't be so much on the edge but um she's so cute <laughs> um I tried putting this image on this side, but it's the same. I think what's ruining ruining it a little bit, it's um, Sleeping Beauty's dress because it is kind of like flaring out this way, but whatever. I like the way it looks right there and I don't want to cut out Tiana. So I think it looks good right there. Um, I sent her a picture just before I pressed everything in. So I'm just waiting for her to answer me. If you guys are interested in the white toner printer, I do have a link in the description. I'm waiting for another print. That's why it's blinking. Um, but yeah, um, I'll have a link in the description. Um, so that's what I use for the print. So just waiting for her response and then I'll be back to show you. I'll press them. I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll go to the embroidery machine and embroider this out. See how it comes out. Okay, so I pressed the princesses. I'm removing the film gently. And you have to do this while it's completely cold. And it does have a very shiny film. But we're gonna do a second press and all that shine's gonna go away. So I'm gonna do another press just so that everything can sink in into the shirt um and then i'm gonna embroider the three onto the shirt so look at that color it looks amazing so again i'm gonna press it one more time only for like i don't know maybe like 10 seconds and then um just so that removing the shine and then um making sure that all that ink really sits into the shirt okay and then i don't take off the teflon sheet until again it cools off because everything is super duper hot so i'm gonna again let that cool off and then take off the teflon sheet because in the past because it, it's so hot and the teflon sheet gets super hot um I need both the ink and the Teflon sheet to separate from each other. So, there it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my number three, which I left over here. And 
and I already kind of have the line down the middle and I am going to put this out there and I'm going to embroider that out okay so now it's time for embroidery so I gotta make sure that this needle it's right at this um cross x whatever you want to call it otherwise the number is not going to be exactly where i obviously want it to be so i have to scoot over so i have to move my needle a little bit more a tiny bit more like in this situation, it really matters that it's right exactly where I want it and it's right there. Okay, so that there's where it's gonna embroider the name, the number, the crown, everything. So, um, yeah, here we go. Now I can take this off because I know my design fits inside the hoop. Nothing's gonna bump, nothing's gonna anything. So, um, good to go. The size of the number was perfect and I am going to be using this um, embroidery vinyl, and this is from Kids Custom Designs. I'll leave a link to Angela's website at the um, description of the video. And someone told me that they couldn't figure out why their shirt was um, stitching together. Alguien dijo que su camisa cada rato se le, se le cosía el brazo de la, de donde está la bobina. Tiene que ir dentro de la camisa. Si estás metiendo la camisa así, o sea, con esto por fuera, estás bordando la camisa junta. Entonces tienes que abrir la camisa. That's just someone asked. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start. So there's what it looks like. So pretty. I love it. Okay, keep going. Okay. So let's cut that out. watching simply you on youtube you guys should go check her out the shirt's almost done i'm gonna show her show you guys her um, channel go subscribe you guys okay it's ready so this is the um 10 8 no 10 by 10 mighty hoop on the Rikuma MT1501 and then here's how it turned out how cute so I'm gonna press it one more time because I like to press my embroidery just so everything looks nice and crisp so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I did the final press this is how it looks and there's the metallic thread super shiny the princesses are not shiny anymore they have more like a, a tiny bit of shine of course it is ink so um it looks amazing i love it it came out so stinking good so thank you for that person that said have you mixed the both because i don't think my light bulb light bulb would have gone off if when that um customer um wanted embroidery but wanted all these princesses so i think that was like in the back of my head it looks awesome i love the color everything looks vibrant the embroidery the princesses everything so again links in the description if you guys want to check out the white toner printer or any embroidery machines i also have a link in the description for the um, embroidery machines 
So moving on, I have to make some tutus. Not I had to make a tutu for this, but um, I still have to make my ice cream tutu, and then I already have that tutu. I have things all over the place, and it's ten. I have to get to work. All right, bye guys.